Police say shortly after a woman arrived at High Point High School to pick up her children from after school activities, she began arguing with the man in what police describe as a domestic dispute. Moments later, police say a school visitor tried to intervene as things escalated, but the alleged gunman shot the visitor and the woman. The male produced a handgun and fired at him a number of times. Again, I don't have a number of times for you yet, but more than once, striking him in the shoulder. He is in stable condition. He is expected to survive. The male then turned the weapon on the female and shot her several times. The woman died. This High Point Junior says she was with one of the female victim's daughters at the time. Yeah, she saw the shooting happen. She came out of the building on the side um, where the band room is, and we just had to pull her back in because we didn't want to add to the situation. Well, we the shooting happened in the parking lot at 440 while sports games and practices were going on. This softball player says her game was suspended when they heard the shots and hurried off the field to safety. We were just there all worried. I was more worried because my brother was in the parking lot. He was coming down to go see my game and then he wouldn't answer his phone calls or his my text and then I was scared. Here's her brother Enzo who says he saw the man who intervened. I saw him like lying down on the floor like this grabbing onto his arm and like yeah he was like and there's people uh, surrounding him. And I was scared. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, I, I just wanted to leave. All right, here is another look at Eulalio Tordil, right now wanted for the murder of his estranged wife, Gladys, as she sat in her SUV. We're told Eulalio has an Adelphi address, which is the next town just to the south and west of here. Uh, police before had mentioned they may do another briefing to pass along some information about the car that Mr. Tordil uh, used to drive away from the scene, but we have uh, not heard anything about that. Police say that they do have some video surveillance uh, of this incident that happened in the school parking lot here. We're live in Prince George's County. George Lattis, WBAL TV 11 News. Uh, George, thank you. You can follow new developments on the story as they come into the 11 newsroom with the WBAL TV mobile app and be sure to turn on push alerts for late breaking updates.